Yo, what up, hey, how you doing guys? My name is Sanj, today we are back with another video. As you can see from the title, today we're gonna to be styling five outfits using the simple base of a white tank top. My belly's poking through, lockdown pudge still, still there, but we're trying to lose it. It is what it is. In fact, that is the reason why I'm using my brother as the model for this video. So a massive, massive shout out to the boy. This intro is just a quick disclaimer because it's a new style of content that I would love to do a lot more of on this channel and I kind of just want to get your thoughts so if you enjoy it please do let me know in the comment section down below what you would like to see being improved personally I think I should be including more props on the side like some plants or whatever um, but yeah if you enjoy it don't forget to leave a thumbs up because it helps me out tremendously share subscribe do all that other jazz and before we kick things off I also wish to say a massive thank you to the wonderful people over at Farfetch for actually providing the clothes and sponsoring this piece of content without them this wouldn't have been possible and I'm sure if you've been watching my channel for a while now you guys know what Farfetch is but if you don't it is an online retailer dare I say the biggest I think it's fair to say that it's the biggest online retailer purely due to the fact that they act as a middleman as opposed to a normal retailer which holds onto the stock themselves so what that allows us to do is to shop across multiple boutiques across the world for us to get our goodies hence why their selection is usually tenfold to any other retailer that you might come across not only that one of the main reasons why i personally love to support farfetch especially in times like these is because they allow us to make purchases from small boutiques that would otherwise not get the sale or not be able to generate the business because of either the lack of footfall depending on where they might be situated we might not have access to it and the fact that they now have an online platform to sell their clothing through is a beautiful thing so thank you to the wonderful people over at farfetch links to everything will be in the description box down below all the items that i'm wearing and everything they've also provided your boy with a 10 percent discount code which will be plastered right across the screen right now if you wish to make use of it you may do so t's and c's are in the description box down below with that being said let's kick things off five outfits festive season is upon us i'm throwing that term extremely loosely because of the current sort of lockdown rules and regulations I mean, in the UK, I think you can only have a gathering of six people, which to be fair, can be a very intimate family gathering and you can still dress up a little bit. So hopefully you might be able to pull some tips and tricks from this video. And with that being said, let's kick things off. Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, to kick things off with outfit numero uno, we have quite possibly the most sort of basic forward slash safe, but also a little throwback to good old Sanj back in his Mr. Rockstar wannabe. Also, quick little heads up, my brother decided to wear a beanie, although I told him not to because he hasn't had a haircut in a while and he was like, bro, I'd be happy to help you film this video. But if I'm not wearing this beanie, I'm not doing it because my trim's looking dead. So if you catch a glimpse of a white beanie, that is the reason why. But anyway, moving on to the Rockstar outfit. Like I said, this is plain simple, one that you really can't go wrong because it's so classic. In my opinion, this is a look that will stand the test of time. 10, 20, 30 years down the line, you can still pull this off and look absolutely incredible because at the end of the day, the pieces look great. They fit amazing. And even if skinny jeans might not be in style at the moment, I still think this is a timeless look, at least in my opinion. It's pretty much head to toe SLP. We have the L01 leather jacket from Saint Laurent. We've got obviously the white tank top from Chrome Hearts. We've got the black skinny jeans from SLP and the Jodhpur boots from, no, they're not Jodhpurs. They're the, um, what are they called? Ah, what are they called before we go into the next outfit? They're the, um, God damn it. What are they called? The duckies, the duckies boots, black leather, super clean, boom. Then for outfit number two, we've got a bit more of a laid back, 
Playboy Don Pablo vibes with the Casablanca shirts. Now, you guys are well aware that I'm a very big fan of the Casablanca shirts. I think they're absolutely incredible. I think they're priced very fairly for what you're getting and the colors are incredible the material is amazing the fit is beautiful and this is one of the items that i've copped from farfetch and i'll be sure to leave a link to it in the description box down below as you can see it fits incredible we went with well this is a size medium i think they fit fairly true to size for the bottoms we have a pair of hyder ackerman white trousers with the golden detailing that can be found running alongside the side seam these are actually a pair of women's trousers but as you can see very much a unisex piece and then to finish it off we have the gucci loafers with the squared sort of toe and a slight heel to them they're black and yet they tie everything together effortlessly now i know some of you might be a bit iffy about the use of the brown leather belt and the black shoes I mean, you've got to be super picky about that sort of stuff to even care, but for me, it is what it is. Super nice, really laid back, really easy look to pull off at a party. Next up, we have one of my favorite look out of the bunch. This is a super colorful and very pattern heavy look, which was actually one of the trends that we've seen sort of progress over the last sort of couple of shows where it was very print heavy. This, much like the first outfit, is going to be a head to toe Hyder Ackerman look, or at least no, that's not head to toe, just a top and a bottom. The coat from Farfetch, this one in particular was from Fall Winter 19. Now, unfortunately, this has sold out on the website, but I've left links to alternatives in the description box down below. The pattern, just everything about this piece is so beautiful, man. It's sold out. It literally popped back up from a retailer, a small boutique in Japan, and I was able to get my hands on them. And plus it was on sale, as I just mentioned, so it was literally winner, winner, chicken dinner. And I thought I'd pair it with a pair of trousers from Autumn Winter 14, which was the, at least the way that I see it, the, um, the initial inspiration for this coat, if you will. They feature a very similar pattern, just in a different color. And then to finish it off, we have the brown boots, the Diego boots from, from the first, and actually to finish off and tie up the whole look, we have the Colette Hyatt little bag. I figured I'd throw it on because it also features a really cool pattern on the side. And since it's this, then since this is a pattern heavy look, I thought it was fitting. So yeah, man, love this look. Super easy to pull off. And uh, I think you're gonna look absolutely amazing if you were to try and replicate it. Now for the fourth look, one of my personal favorites and I am slightly biased because if you've got a keen eye, you might be able to recognize these cargo trousers, which I actually made many moons ago by taking apart three vintage cargos. But this, as you can see, is a slightly more refined and a cleaner take on things because this is your boy's final sample pre-production of the cargo trousers that I'm going to be releasing very soon. Man, I'm so excited to be able to showcase this to you and to finally give you guys a glimpse at them. As you can see, they've got pocket detailing throughout the leg. They've got this incredible flare cut. And my brother, in a very short moment, or potentially already now, is going to bend over, I mean, bend down, sorry, and tighten them up. I love the ability to change the cut of a garment, make them tighter, especially around the bottom of the leg. And so we included this tab and button that would allow us to do so. And I think they sit so sick on these incredible, weedy PL2 
boots. Now these have been on my wish list for so long and I was finally, finally able to bite the bullet and pull the trigger on them. I think they're absolutely incredible. I love the front zip iteration. Now if you guys are aware, they come in the back zip as well in a variety of different heel length. I think they're my one of my favorite boots like ever since i've had them i've been rocking them near enough every day and i think they're absolutely incredible they go with so many things for outfit information on top we have the vintage carhartt jacket that i got from unsound rags super worn distressing detailing that can be found throughout so fucking sick i love this jacket underneath we have the black hyder ackerman hoodie and bottoms we have the cargo trousers and we have the greedy pl2 boats now the trousers are unfortunately a little bit too big for my brother these are a size medium which is equivalent to a size 32 like i said my brother kind of ranges between a 28 to 30 so he did wear them with a belt and he's showcasing all the various pocket detailing that can be found throughout both the front and the back oh man this is only a tiny little glimpse into what the final product will be but i am so excited to be able to really showcase them to you guys hopefully you guys fuck with it and hopefully you guys will be able to add this to the collection i think they look absolutely amazing with the greedies they look amazing with sneakers they look amazing with various other boots i am super super hyped look at them look at the boots as well so fire man i'm so excited about these boots but that is outfit number four this is probably the least festive look if you wish to call it that but i thought i'd throw in a casual outfit in fact the last two outfits are fairly casual and um this is one of them i mean hey if i'm gonna do a video wearing white tank tops i might as well showcase some of the pieces that i think look absolutely fuego with it and the colors are so complementary to each other so that is that for outfit numero Cuatro. And then last but certainly not the least, we have the easiest, most laid back, chilled outfit. This is something you'd wear on a day to day and yet this is somewhat colourful, which I love, you know, during fall, winter or at least the transitional period, people tend to gravitate more so towards darker colours and I completely understand that. But this is when I take an opportunity to just wear even more colours than before because I think it looks fresh. On top we have a vintage yellow cardigan. Now something special about this was that it was actually dyed using natural... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Using natural... What is the word I'm looking for? Is it spices, herbs, whatever? It's basically dyed using turmeric, I believe. The bottoms, we have the needles, velvet joggers. Shoes, we have the off-white prestos. And we have the Tsuno bag from Ground Cover to really tie everything in. Like I said, super casual, super laid back, super colorful. You know, you put this on and there's just a feel good vibe about it. At least that's how I feel. And now if you wanted to, you could obviously throw on a little jacket or a coat. How did I not clock the fact that they were just walking side by side? Um, really cool look, super easy. And as you can see, once again, the white tank top, man, it just, it just helps tie everything together, at least in my opinion. And like I said before, whenever you can wear a white t-shirt, try and wear a white tank top instead because you'll look sick. And that is that for this video. Like I said, this is the first of many. Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Anything that I can improve on, anything that you wish to see, perhaps some actual themes that you would love to see as well. I'm all ears. I want to give a massive shout out to uh, Allegra Shaw, which I'll leave in the comment section, um, which I'll leave in the description box down below, sorry. I think she was like the OG, at least the first person that I've seen do these sort of videos. I think they're absolutely so sick, so much fun to film. And hopefully, like I said, I'll do a lot more in the future. Shout out to the boy Daniel Simmons as well for actually allowing me to put up this video first because he also had the idea of filming a white tank tops outfits video. So the boy, very much appreciated. Allegra Shaw, thank you for being a source of inspiration to this video and the wonderful people over at Farfetch for allowing me to create content like this and sponsoring content for me to provide for you. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And also the most important, thanks to you for watching this video. It helps me out tremendously. Likes, share, subscribe, do all that other jazz. If you wish to follow me on my social media, it's all right here. S-A-N-G-I-E-V, that is Twitter, Instagram, and most 
social media platform. With that being said, have a beautiful day. Take care. Peace.